Hello everyone, Hyper here, and in today's video I will be answering a question that I've been getting quite a lot recently, and that is, if you're playing Necrolord for Mythic Raiding, are you going to pick Hymir or a Many? And this question, um, early on in the tier, wasn't happening because on logs and for progression, everyone just played a Many. However, later on, more and more logs of people playing Hymir with the crit buff started creeping up. So if you go to Warcraft logs and you look at the top DKs um, in the West, you will see that most of them on pretty much every boss with the exception of Sludge Fist are playing Hymir. Um, and in all of my videos, um, I generally suggest playing a many. So it might cause some confusion, but this video should explain what the reasoning behind that is. So if you go through the bosses and just look at the top 10 on each boss, which is not necessarily a great metric, but most of the DKs are playing uh, Bonesmith Hymir, whereas there's a few Ameni here and there. Um, then on Sludge Fist, Ameni is just hands down better um, because of how the pillars line up and everything that's just fight design has nothing to do with like sim DPS or anything like that. And But then you look at SLG, at Sire, and at every other uh, boss in Castle Nathria, people are playing Bonesmith Hymir. So what's the reason behind it? Well, it's fairly straightforward. If you go to Sims, my single target Sim says that on pure single target DPS, the difference between Hymir and Ameni for me is about 50 DPS in favor of Hymir. So it's usually a pretty easy decision to make. My sims say that Hymir is better, I'm gonna play Hymir. However, what sims do not reflect is lead by example and the way it works. Whenever you press your slappy hands, you give four of your party members 2% main stat, uh, which is strength, stamina, or intellect for 10 seconds. So the question becomes, is four people getting 2% main stat better than 50 DPS on yourself? There's actually a super simple way of looking at this. Imagine you're a demon hunter. As we know, demon hunters tag a boss, the boss takes more magic damage. By default, that magic damage will show up on everyone's details or logs. They're not going to be added to the demon hunter. Now, imagine that demon hunters have a, the passive that they can toggle, which instead of adding that damage to everyone else, will now add it to the demon hunter. On logs, you will only see demon hunters who have it toggled to add that damage to themselves. So this is the exact same scenario. One of the soul binds will give your entire raid slightly more DPS, but yourself slightly less, whereas the other soul bind will give you personally more DPS, but your entire raid slightly less. So this is why on logs, you will always see Hymir outshine a many. However, if you look at it um, from a realistic progression standpoint, a many is just better by all accounts. Um, just because it's more reliable, you use it with um, slappy hands, you give other people DPS as well as yourself. And by all regards, a many is just a better soulbind. However, if you want to parse, then Hymir becomes the better, better soulbind. It is a little bit more selfish play. Um, you're, you're going to get more DPS out of it, but you're not going to be kind of splitting extra DPS with your raid members. So that is pretty much how you want to decide between Hymir or Ameni. On progression, I suggest playing um, Ameni for everyone. Then if you're, if you're trying to parse, if you're trying to get nice numbers, then you can swap over to Hymir. And this goes for both single target and AoE. For me, the difference on both single target and AoE is about 50 DPS between the two. And in my mind, that is made up by the main stat buff that everyone gets whenever you press slappy hands. So ultimately the choice is up to you with which you wanna play. Um, DPS wise, they're going to be very similar, but with one, you look personally better on the damage meters. With the other, your raid will perform slightly better. So ultimately I leave this choice up to you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you. Thanks for watching this quick video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.